Today, you're going to be changing an attribute in a rectangular prism or cylinder and then finding its volume and surface area and seeing how changing the attribute changes the volume and surface area. You need to make sure that you write all of this in your notes. This will be on your test on Thursday. So in your notebook, you need to write the title and today's date, which is January the 31st. Let's start by finding volume and surface area of a rectangular prism. So let's sketch a rectangular prism in your notebook. And it doesn't have to be a perfect drawing. Let's label the dimensions. Let's make the length 3 inches. Let's make the width 2 inches. And let's make the height 4 inches. Now if we're going to find volume first, volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So now we plug in our numbers. The length is 3, the width is 2, and the height is 4. So if we multiply these three numbers together, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 4 is 24. So my volume is 24 inches cubed. And I am writing with the mouse and not on the smart board, which is why it's not as neat as it usually is. Same rectangular prism. Now let's find the surface area. Surface area of a rectangular prism is 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the width times the height. Make sure you're writing all of this in your notebook. And this should be an H for height. All right, well, we've already labeled this one as the length. This one is the width. And this one is the height. So now when we go back and plug our numbers in, we get 2 times the length of 3 times the width of 2 plus 2 times the length of 3 times the height of 4 plus 2 times the width of 2 times the height of 4. Now remember, we multiply before we add. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. Bring down the plus sign. 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24. Bring down the plus sign. 2 times 2 is 4 times 4 is 16. Now once we have the three numbers right here for surface area, we go ahead and add them together. 12 plus 24 plus 16 is 52. My unit is inches, and in surface area, the unit is squared. Okay, so those are the answers that we get. Now let's see what happens if we go back and we double the height. So if we double the height, if it was 4 inches, 4 times 2 is 8, so let's change the height to 8 inches. That's the height doubled. Now let's see what happens to the volume when the height is doubled. So this is my original, and then this one is the new one with the height doubled. So volume is length times width times height. Plug in your numbers. The length stays 3. The width changes to 2. And the height is now doubled to 8. So when we multiply these numbers together, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48 inches cubed. So what happened when we doubled the height. The original volume was 24 inches cubed, 
the new volume is 48 inches cubed. What's the difference between 24 and 48? What you should notice is that when you double the height, the volume gets doubled. The volume is now twice as large. It has twice as much capacity now as it did before we doubled it. Well, let's see what happens with surface area. So surface area of a rectangular prism, 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the width times the height. And I know this is a lot messier than normal, but it's kind of hard writing with the mouse. All right, well, let's plug in our numbers now that the height's been doubled. 2 times the length of 3 times the width of 2 plus 2 times the length of 3 times, all right, 2 times the length of 3 times the width of 2. No, uh, all right, let's back up. Got interrupted and lost my place. So let's continue here. We already have 2 times the length of 2 times the width of 2. 2 times the length of 3 times the height, which is now 8. And 2 times the width of 2 times the height, which is now 8. Okay, so when we multiply, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6, times 8 is 48. 2 times 2 is 4, times 8 is 32. So when we multiply these numbers, or when we add these numbers together, 12 plus 48 plus 32 gives us 92 inches squared as our surface area. Well, the original surface area before we doubled the height was 52. The new surface area is 92. Well, that's a difference of 30 inches squared. So there is really no correlation or no set rule between surface area when you double the height as to, opposed to what it was originally. But for volume of the rectangular prism, when we doubled the height, it actually did double the volume. All right, let's look at, this is going to be the first problem on the worksheet that you're about to get. And the first one's a cylinder, so let's see what happens with cylinders. All right, when we have a cylinder, and I'm going to give you the radius of this cylinder. So if the radius is 8 yards, and the height is 56 yards. Let's first find the volume of the cylinder. All right, formula for volume of a cylinder is pi times the radius squared times the height. Now remember not to use the pi key on your calculator. Use 3.14. If the radius is 8, square that. 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64. And then the height is 56. So when I multiply these numbers together, 3.14 times 64 times 56, that gives me a total volume of 11,253.76 yards cubed. All right, now let's go ahead and double the height. So if the height was 56, double that. 56 times 2 gives me a new height of 112 yards. So this one is the original. Now let's find the volume of the new one. So volume is pi times the radius squared times the height. Pi stays the same. It's 3.14. The radius stayed the same. It was 8 
So square the radius, 8 squared is 64. But my height has been doubled. Now it's 112. So when I multiply these numbers together, 3.14 times 64 times 112, I get a new volume of 22,507.52 yards cubed. And if you take that new volume and divide it by 2, you get the original volume. So what have we learned? We need to write this down. This is really important. You'll see a test question on this. If the height is doubled, whether that's in a rectangular prism or a cylinder, the volume will be doubled every time, whether it's a rectangular prism or whether it's a cylinder. If you double the height, the volume will be doubled. Why don't you take a few minutes and see what happens with this same shape if you double, let's find the surface area. Now remember the original height was 56 yards. Take a few minutes to find the surface area and then double the height to 112. Find the new surface area and compare those two. See if you can see any difference in what happens. Is, is there a correlation? Like there is in volume, it's doubled. In surface area, would that happen?